1964 Lincoln CNET struck on a copper nickel clad dime planchet. Graded as EF45 by PCGS. F standing for extremely fine according to Sheldon coin grading scale. Brilliant and satiny, this attractive silver gray example retains faint traces of mint luster that are best appreciated when viewed with the aid of direct lighting. The wrong planchet feature has resulted in isolated softness of detail both in the centers and around the peripheries, but most major design elements are sharply defined. This is a scarce mint error, and also a particularly curious one since copper nickel planchets were not intended for regular issue production until 1965. In 1964, when this specimen was presumably struck, the Philadelphia Mint would have been using 90% silver planchets for dime coinage. It was sold for $2,880. Number 7. Here is 1909 S Wheat Penny with repunched mint mark S over horizontal S. Popular variety where a secondary S is evident north of the primary S, but orientated horizontally. This high-end gem displays bold luster and gorgeous golden tan coloration throughout. The details are sharply impressed and the eye appeal is wonderful. It was sold for $6,050. Number 6. This is 1923 Lincoln sent in MS67 plus red condition. CAC proven superb gem. Intensely vivid medium rose mint color dominates the in-hand appearance of this captivating superb gem. Fully struck and silky smooth in appearance, it is little wonder that this virtually pristine coin. I appeal is outstanding. It was sold for $7,500. Number 5. Here is 1970 S Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS65 red by PCGS. It was showcased at David Lawrence coin auction. Gorgeous gem example of this scarce and popular large date, double die obverse Lincoln sent variety. Immaculate surfaces are sharply struck and wonderfully lustrous with ideal golden orange color throughout creating premium eye appeal. It was sold for $9,000. Number 4. This is 1914 D. Lincoln sent in MS65 red condition. Key date D. Mint. Popular in any grade but especially rare in full red. Silky red surfaces with a light hint of gold. A beautiful example of this popular key date. According to NGC, though not the lowest mintage issue in the Lincoln sent series, both 1909 SVDB and 1931 S are lower. The 1,193,000 cents coined at Denver in 1914 have the smallest surviving population. Though sharply struck 1,914 D cents are found, most have moderate dye erosion and loss of detail, the lapel of Lincoln's coat being a shallow feature of the design often lost to severe dye polishing. This one was sold for $12,000. Number 3. Here is 1909 SVDB Lincoln sent in MS66 red condition. A superb gem of this famously popular key date. The 1909 SVDB is one of the primary keys to the Lincoln Scent Collection and a rare date that is coveted by all collectors. CAC approved for quality and eye appeal. The initials VDB on the reverse of the coin stand for Victor David Brenner, the designer of the Lincoln Scent, and their unauthorized inclusion on the coin led to a public outcry and their removal from future coins. The coin is in high demand among collectors, and its value has increased significantly over the years. This specimen fetched a sum of $13,500. Number 2. 1919D Lincoln sent in MS67 red condition. Fiery brick red color dominates both sides of this exquisite superb gem 1919D Lincoln sent, one of the few finest survivors of this difficult mintmarked issue. As with the 1919S, the emphasis was on quantity not quality, and more than 57 million were struck in this post-war boom year but few survivors show such marvelous preservation, accompanied by an impeccable strike and a near total lack of spots or other distractions. It was sold for $31,200. Number 1. And here is 1969 S. Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 63 plus red by PCGS. A true 1969 S. double die obverse sent will have strong and prominent doubling on the date. The doubling appears on a southeast direction and is more prominent on the date, the word liberty, and the words in God we trust exciting as a newly discovered example of this rare variety. This is an important choice full red scent. It is attractive, with bright, even, pinkish rose mint color on both sides. 
There are few blemishes of any kind, and most are so small as to be easily overlooked by the unaided eye. According to Stax Bowers, the 1969 S double die obverse is an extremely desirable variety having an estimated population of just 40 to 50 pieces based on combined certification service statistics. It was sold for $72,000. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you found this information helpful. If you you did, then please consider hitting like and subscribe buttons below. Stay well and see you in the next episode.